Our conscience cannot ignore the shadows cast over our society by the racing scourge of femicide. Women and girls in our communities are enduring unspeakable violence. This year alone, we have seen tragic cases of sexual assault and brutal murders of women and girls, crimes that lay in bare profound failure of our collective duty to protect our most vulnerable. Why are our girls, why are our women being killed? It is notable that the Deputy Inspector of Police, Kenya Police, yesterday put this alarming number of victims of femicide to 97 women killed in the last 90 days. One woman being killed is just too many. 97 is incomprehensible. This alarming state of crisis demands action from every corner of our society. I call upon all law enforcement agencies in the justice sector, social services and civil society organizations to intensify our vigilance and protective measures. Police officers, community leaders, new Bakumi organizations, and all of our citizens must join hands to work together to ensure that our girls and women are safe in their homes. They are safe in their schools. They are safe in their workplaces and also in the neighborhoods because this is where these deaths are taking place.